professional athlete just said some of the most disgusting anti-gay, anti-trans bull I have ever heard. Oh, wow. So far, he has faced zero consequences. Like his big money-making event is still set to take place, still at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, and it's still in two days. So, uh, TikTok? It might be time to do your thing. Let me tell you <laughs> what why. You this human thumb, this. Sean Strickland. Yeah, the guy in the women belong in the kitchen t-shirt. So original. He is an MMA fighter. And yesterday, <laughs> MMA journalist Alexander Lee. I don't know if Lee I'm a little pussy, but that might be a little But outrageous. he's a troll, but he be trolling. Man, don't disrespect Sean. Bro. I know, I, but that is I, a little, know, I watched the fight yesterday. I, I used though. to not like Sean Strickland because he beat up Adesanya. He whooped Adesanya But now I like him. <laughs> is that not a little I'm extreme? Not say, I'm, not gonna say, I'm not gonna say he whooped his ass. I was saying it was all. Woman belong in the kitchen. He, there's something under, bro, but I think he's trolling. It's a joke, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. man. So it's, it's a publicity it? thing, I guess. Because because I think it was because publicity. Publicity, yeah. I think he wore that after, like, because he gets he's known for I don't know, man. I was oh, gonna I mean, say, if he's just a troller, I guess that's. I, I was gonna say something. So I was. You see, you see, so Sean y'all, Strickland, on y'all want to try in the kitchen? Duh. Did y'all see Theo Von? Did y'all see Sean Strickland on? Theo Von podcast, he made Theo cry. Yeah, he Boy. cried too. Yeah. Who, going, who made Theo They both cry. cried. He was like talking, talking about, about his trauma, trauma yeah. and it triggered him and he started oh, like, oh shit. He like, bro, he started breaking down. Theo was trying to make a joke and he realized like how bad it was and he Damn. started crying. Like his big money making event is still set to take place, still at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto and it's still in two days. So uh, TikTok? It might be time to do your thing. Let me tell you why. This human thumb, Sean Strickland. Yeah, the guy in the women belong in the kitchen t-shirt. So original. He is an MMA fighter. And yesterday, MMA journalist Alexander Lee asked him about disgusting comments he had made in the past about the LGBTQ community. Specifically that time that Strickland said if he had a gay son, it would mean he failed as a man. <laughs> it seems like a guy who's super secure in his masculinity. Anyways, before Lee could even finish his question, Strickland launched into a gnarly tirade. But when have you ever seen a UFC champion, George St. Pierre, anybody else, Stick up for you guys. I can do it. I do it. I am not chasing the Chinese check mark of Nike. I don't give up about that. I care about you guys. I care about you guys being free. I care about you guys having freedom of speech. I okay. Care about you guys. And I'll tell you what. You guys are fucking awesome, and I cannot wait. And this man. I feel like he was cheated. For you guys. Nah, he wasn't. Nah. What did he say that was bad right there? Right uh, there? He said he, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, chase the Chinese chair. I don't think he was cheated, though. You got to realize, though, he got taken down three times. Like, that that, that counts on the scorecard. For real? Yeah. Take down over and all strength? Bro, wrestling in, in the UFC counts for a lot of points. That's crazy. It's mixed martial arts, not just, like, punching. That was a pretty cool speech to me, though. It was I don't see fight, the problem. No, yeah, I it thought was... that was a good speech. I thought he spoke facts. No, yeah, I, I like Sean I don't see what at all was controversial about that one. I like Sean a lot. No, it was a great fight. Though I actually really enjoyed it. Shout out to uh Drikas Duplac is this not Duplacis. The, it's not the video. Is this not the clip that everybody no. was mad about? It no, must no, not, it's not, not, it's not the clip. It's no. not the clip. Oh, okay. The okay. reporter asked him, he asked him something. He just let it play. Yeah, we and he got on his ass. Then, then 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 after he got on the reporter, he was like calling them Canadians weak and stuff, talking about how they elected uh some weak official. Some reporter was like, Dana, so you give your fighters a leash. Dana's like, I don't give nobody a leash. You say whatever you want, believe whatever you want. This is America, bitch. Yeah, because this video is about Dana White. This video, oh, but maybe oh, no, no, but this. Is the, 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 right the, here? Comment, the comments that Dana made were in relation to what he Did said. They asked him about what And they Sean were like, said. so you're not going to do anything about that? Like, man, it's America, man. We're going to get down like you you Canadian cowards. Even though I've never been to Canada, Canada so sorry, guys. They got free insurance. They're going to take you forever to see a doctor, dude. Young I, Jamie. <clears throat> fuck Trudeau. Fuck Trudeau. Is that the UFC? Yelling, yelling, that's the, that's the Canadian president, Justin Whoa. Trudeau. Love yeah. it. Yeah. That's like Canada. a piece of shit. Canada, get your shit together. Come back. Come back to what you used to be. Is he that Pierre Minister? Polivar Is that guy, have? however you say his name. That guy makes sense. He's also Fidel Castro's kid. We know. I'm, I'm not a big conspiracy guy. <sighs> I don't know. If come, on. <laughs> come on. Eddie, back me up on this. Educate. I think that's the crazy. crazy. It's not yeah, that crazy. crazy. He yeah. looks his a mom, lot crazy. like Castro. It, look at his the mom. But, he, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Thank Realistically, I've looked at this. He also looks like his dad. His dad looks like Castro. 
His dad's very similar in facial structure to Castro. But, but explain but the mom going to to hanging Cuba. out, and he's got a he's got nine a, months before. Fun. But that was holding him. Going, that's why it's fun. That's why like, it's a fun it, theory. And, and she's on the flight logs Listen, so many times. This could all be herself. solved with a very simple DNA test. With if I would do, if someone was accusing my dad of being Castro, if someone said hey, your grandfather was Mussolini, I'd be like, no. What are you talking about? Yeah, look, your, your grandma fucked Mussolini. You think your grandpa, the guy that used to take you fishing, you think that was your grandfather? No. Your grandfather <laughs> Mussolini. like, no. And then they showed you a picture. And then they showed you a picture of Mussolini holding you. <gasps> You'd be like, oh shit, it's looking pretty <gasps> great. Like, you're, you're, who were they talking about, though? They're talking about they're Justin talking about, Trudeau. Yeah, he's the talking Canadian about the prime minister, president. I don't know. He's in charge in Canada. And, and, uh, Castro was, was the Cuban. Castro was, was the Cuban. Fidel look. Castro? Yeah, yeah. he was in He Cuba. was the dictator in Cuba. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. That's, okay. I think he was part the of Cuban the... Cuban Missile Crisis. That's why they had... What was it the Bay of Pigs or something? Yes, it was around that time. Y'all remember on... Um, they on tried that Black assassin. Ops 2? When you was, was in Black Cuba. Ops 1. It was 1? Oh, yeah. When we was in Cuba? On Call of Duty. When they had the communists? You know they tried to assassinate? Snake Cuba. I mean, the rail, uh, when you started in the railroad, when you started in the villa, when you saving people, they try to, you know, they try to assassinate Castro with a, a, a exploding cigar. They were gonna offer it to him. He gonna light it up. It's gonna blow up. That's crazy. That he didn't nice smoke it. America. They yeah. try to assassinate him a few times. America don't care. They go. Yeah. Oh, they that's like from, the movie The Dictator. That's where they they probably got that from. That probably, it's probably a lot. Sure. It's probably from that. Some Middle Eastern guys like uh, Hadam so Hussein funny. and uh, who who came after Hussein? It was somebody else. I don't know, but they say he was worse. Whoever came after Saddam. Hussein. Uh, Sean, we were talking before about how you have so much respect from your teammates, from peers. You said you've had great interaction with fans pretty much all the time. Um, I did want to ask. He got that ear you be talking about, huh? Cauliflower. The cauliflower yeah. ear. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's when you get trauma to your ear, blood oh, yeah, gets in your yeah, ear. Yeah, 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 if yeah. you see one, somebody with that, don't try them. This is, I'm pretty sure this is where he makes the comments that the video are yeah, in relation yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, Sean, we were talking before about how you have so much respect from your teammates, from peers. You said you've had great interaction with fans pretty much all the time. Um, I did want to ask, you know, you're in Toronto. Welcome. Glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the f opposition? Are uh, you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. You, I mean, you got to like, ah, yeah. Well, I did want to ask. Did you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. And, and let me tell you something right now. If a man says he's not going to say, like, if you ask him, motherfucker, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say that's none of your business. He voted for Biden. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. The enemy, the enemy of Canada. Sure, All right. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said if I had a gay son, I would think I'd. Oh, look, another, another. Yeah. This time I'm saying yeah. to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone's. Let me ask model. you something. Are you, you, are, you, you are you gay? Are, had the no, are, are, are you. Let me know. Are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking. I'm, this is a part of the, are you Are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. <laughs> if you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh, man, you don't. You want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak man, dude. You're like, you're part of the problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, with you, when he sees the bank accounts, like you're just pathetic. And and the fact that the fact that you have no backbone, and and has he shut down your country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid like that. Go yourself. Move the on, man. Really answer the question. Now he got his ass. Fried that was ass. pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. So that that then. But they, he knew they, what he was doing. He was poking a bear. Yeah. yeah no literally. facts. And, and and Dana, uh, they asked Dana about it after. Dana said uh, Sean got robbed. He said he thought that. He did uh, say that. He said he thought that uh, Sean won. I don't know, man. When you count into when you take takedowns into uh, account, I think do, do polices. I feel drinkers, like he's, I feel like do plezzy. It's easy to get a takedown with him. It, uh, I, I feel I, like uh, in Sean's fighting style, is he's very open for takedowns. And do Drew, however you say his name, Duplessis, Duplessis, I don't know. So did he have him in a submission or something? No, he took him down three times though. That, I cannot see just getting taken down. This more points though. That's crazy to me. Well, I mean, don't they count that as ground control and stuff? If he's on top of him. He was on top of him. Sean got up though every like, single time. How, like was he, he riding him? Uh, he took him down, and uh, Sean's takedown defense. Like he he got up, but he got taken down like three times. How long he had him on the ground for? Um, not very long. 
Not too long. I'm not gonna lie. You messing me up, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to figure Dude, out. Like, Dr- Dr- Drikus is a tank, though. Sean was freaking striking him. He was taking him. So like you telling me taking oh, somebody down is more points than was throwing Friday? a punch? Was that Friday? No, it was, last it was yesterday. Last yeah. night. I didn't see it. That's why I was messed up. I'm saying night. taking like throwing more punches. So you telling no, me Sean take- was Sean was definitely landing some shots, especially That's in the what? first round. But in the, after the first round, Duplessis turned up. The second round, lie. but the, the last two rounds, like the last two rounds, he still won them. With more strikes than landed. That's why I messed him. Yeah, he got taken down though twice. Like, like three times. I don't times. see how I take that. All right, all right. I just, let's get to the bed. I'm sorry, yeah. That is bullshit that we allow that. It's bullshit. Hmm? And we can't ignore it. And we should. If they're not gonna if there isn't gonna be a punitive measure, let's move on. Move the fuck on. But there can't be a punitive pr- measure, Mike, if the person in charge so bro doesn't face. feel anything in the way of pressure. Like, there has to be the outrage and the reaction to it. Now, I understand that the reaction these days to the outrage is to simply say, you're too sensitive. You want to cancel me. This isn't freedom, you being outraged by every little thing. But this kind so of speech wearing, is not a little thing. He's wearing a t-shirt that says, women go back in the kitchen. Well, like, what are we doing? These guys are pussy. Like, like that's yeah. not... Well, we haven't even touched on that. That's hatred of 40 years ago. We kind of got past that. <laughs> I bet nobody watches this fucking show. <laughs> I've never heard of this like, show. Like, what the hell are they talking about? This guy's a dork. And we're just rehashing it because there has been a change. And it's the same people that asked for politics to be kept out of sports. And have introduced this vile hatred into it. While being platformed, while being legitimized, as the former president of the United States sits next to Dana White, the head of their company at... Mm-hmm. Uh, at he probably big marquee the events. It's just as it's late. on ESPN. I asked Jimmy Pitaro. I ain't gonna say all that. What are you? What gonads are you gonna show me in this instance? Because that pay per view is on ESPN Plus. That is on ESPN Plus, and I know Disney is an inclusive company. I worked for it. Oh, you, uh, you of say nothing. That makes sense. All right, buddy. You know what? End of the segment. I have oh, to change my mind on something. I'm glad you made that. Uh, made us play that video. Because while the UFC isn't going to do anything about it, I would challenge ESPN to make a public statement on this. <laughs> because will. that kind of hate is going no, no, over no. their airways. Do you ever consider going to those guys and saying, hey, this might be the one time you need to tone it down? This might be the one time you need to what? Tone it down. The trash talk. I don't tell anybody to do anything. I don't try to control any other human beings in any way, shape, or form. They do it this way. I say it all the time. We're in the fight business. And, you know... If you get your feelings hurt that bad, you probably shouldn't ask the type of questions when you know the answer you're going to get. That's what I'm saying. Let's start there. Exactly. You know what I mean? If you ask him, you know who he is. And if you ask him a certain question, he was baited in that question. When well, I'm not no, sorry. My, my mistake. I'm not referring to that question. Just, you know, strickling up a little. I, bit. I know what you're saying. Okay. I know. No, I know what you asked me. Um, it is what it is. It's the fight business, man. Dana, I just want I like to go man. back. Um, you were talking too. about like you obviously give a long leash to your fighters about you know what they can say when they are up there with the UFC <laughs> like microphone, slavers, and you are getting slaves. into territory of homophobia, transphobia. Like, is there? I don't give anybody a leash. Well, I'm saying you a leash. <laughs> I'm st- like free speech. It's America. When, control what people say. Going to tell people what to believe. Going to tell people. I don't fucking tell any other human being what to say, what to think, and there's no leashes on any of them. I feel, like that, your question. I feel like that was racist just I was to say that. that question. I'm I'll triggered? move on, though. Not yeah, it's probably a good idea. This a leash? That's ridiculous. Think of a leash. Somebody a leash. Not, well, he's like, he's the head speech. honcho. I understand, but like... Yeah, the that's general. not racist, but... I feel not, like... I wouldn't say he that's said, racist. Like, he's like, 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 Yeah, yeah, you race baiting. You race baiting. I feel like I'm race baiting. There's a bunch of white UFC fighters. I'm saying, but why are you going to refer to all of them, man? Because... Because when, not racist, not racist. when you, when you no, put your racist. dog on a leash, you control what it okay, is allowed okay. to do. So uh, basically saying he puts a, a leash on them by saying, like a long leash by saying what you allow them to do. Because when you put a leash on your dog, you can you allow it to go as far as you you allow it to. You know what I'm okay. saying? Mm-hmm. So if it gets too far, you pull the leash. 
So he's saying you're letting them go far. Like, why don't you pull the leash back? Because he they owner. He the owner of the leash. Oh, yeah. yeah. So okay. that, that's it's like metaphorical. It's not yeah. literal. My fault. I used the wrong word. He was trying to refer to as his employees as slaves, I and would, they're getting paid I wouldn't millions. Say that. I wouldn't say that. A leash, like when you hear leash, bro. bro like, I just explained. I understand. You. I that, just explained it the best way. Let's but keep going. Bro. I just you know. Nah, I see what you're saying, but uh, nobody's a slave being paid a million dollars. No, uh, I'm not gonna lie, man. Uh, Dana White is the same guy. You know, in the last UFC fight, Sean O'Malley made a comment to what did he say to uh he said something to Sean Strickland because Sean Strickland was abused when he was a child and he made a comment about like how he was sexually abused. Whoa. And even Dana was like, Yeah, that's too far. Like, that is a little he was like, too like, far. He was like, Look, man, For like sure. he's like, I'm not gonna control what y'all say, but like that's distasteful. Like it's classless yeah. and like you went too far. Like he yeah. let him say it though. He keep it on like, 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 they were just keeping they, uh, they be making people uh, like fun of people's dead dads. Yeah, no, he even said the same thing. He said the same thing about uh they take about, crazy uh, far. What's the name about um the, Kobe Covington when he said something about bro dad? He said, bro, you like you tripping like, but he didn't control like, oh, you're not allowed yeah, to say that. He's like, look, that. you said what you said, and I don't agree with what you said. Yeah. That's all he can do as the owner. Like, look, you said what you said, I don't yeah. agree with it. That that that's your brand of who you want to be uh, uh seen as and what you want to be. Uh, who you want to be in this fight league, but like I don't agree with that, no, and that's that's all he can say. And I, I respect that more than I him saying, that. "Well, you can't say that." Yeah, I definitely. Respect I respect that. him saying, "Like, look, you said what you said. I don't agree with it." I respect that more personally. Definitely. No, I, I mess and that's why I love speech. the UFC. I mess with freedom. Of I don't fucking tell any other human being what to say, what to think, and there's no leashes <laughs> on any of them. Like, that just sounds so. What is your question? I was asking that question. I'll move on, though. Yeah, uh, probably a good idea. You just, that's ridiculous to say I give somebody a leash. Yeah, it is. Free speech, brother. People can say whatever they want, and they can believe whatever they want. If And I don't think there's any... It, we, had, we, had, we had two gay women who fought in the co-main event. They sat on the stage with Sean Strickland. They could give a shit what Sean Strickland thinks or what he says or what his beliefs are or what his opinions are. You know what I mean? Go ahead. What do you got? I, li I like the way he, he debunked him I and, and like blew that. that blew that up. He's going to say what he thinks. That's why I respect him a lot. I, I like Dana He's a lot. One, I feel like a lot of the other owners in the other leagues, yeah. they always going to cave into what the media and what Definitely. they kind of have to do. And, and what the like partners with the are NFL, saying. the NFL, you know, with the Black Lives Matter on the field and the NBA, everybody taking a knee. Okay, and I kind of understand that, though. I don't. But then I the understand COVID, that, though. they made everybody get the vaccine in the no, NFL. See, that's crazy. And the UFC that's didn't do none of those three things. I'll say, I'll say I understand the Black Lives Matter thing because I don't. Uh, predominantly Black League, they're trying to show that they care about the players in a sense. So, but it, and obviously the players have to get the, political. I mean, like the that. players felt some type of way, you know. So yeah. they're just trying to show their allegiance to their understand. guys, you know. So in in that sense, I respect it. But you know, some of the owners stood up and said, "Look, we're not doing that. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna play for this club, you're not doing that." Obviously, they're gonna stipulate it. But I can understand that in a sense, in that way, you feel me? But definitely, I do like Dana because you know Peloton tried to tell him politically, like we don't agree that you rocking with Trump. He said, "Bet we're not fucking with Peloton." Threw all the Pelotons out. Said, "We're not doing." None of that. Wayne got some new ones, some new assault bikes. I think he got what is it, assault bikes? I think they're called. I don't know. He's like, we're not rocking with y'all, so I rock with Dana, man. I'm definitely seeing stands on his stands stands on business on what he believes. A so lot I of extreme things happening in Canada right now, bro. It's like America. They, they Everybody, liberal. they live. Might like, be actually a, worse. A lot, of, a lot of the stuff <laughs> in the Western world, bad. a lot of the problems we see happen in the UK and Canada, and mm -hmm. they trying to they starting to trickle yeah, down England. here. But we got people like Dana who who not going for it. You know, we got people like the Cartier family. I don't know yeah. if y'all seen this video. Facts. We got people. But it was like this us. guy in media in Canada. He walked up on somebody, like, asking them uh, a question. I guess they, like, kind of created a law or something. I don't know what they created. But he walked up on him with their camera. And, like, the police seen him walking up toward them. And the police, like, kind of bumped him and was all like, you're being arrested for harassment. Yeah, no, literally. And he bumped him. He said, wow. he's like, you're harassing a police officer. And he walked up to him and bumped him in the shoulder. That's crazy. And it was, like, insane. That was probably, we, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was, it like, sounds like Canada, because I've heard the No Boys talk about that, too. No, right? Canada, Canada no, he's extremely well. Even uh, uh, Tucker has said Canada's pretty Damn, pussy. Damn, I wish I could find that video. So it says pretty pussy over there. Maybe we I can bring that to It's just day. liberal, soft. Oh, so See, it's terrible. They, they, they control what people say. They control what people do. They try to put a leash on people. They're trying to control what's going on over there. You know? corrupt. I still like, want to go to Toronto me. though, at least one time. No, I've heard my, my, oh, my, yeah, my one, go. one of my buddies played soccer in New York. He said Toronto, as far as big cities go, is the nicest big city he's ever wow. been. It's clean. It's nice as hell. Good time. Well, guys, hey, we're out here.